Here are three easy ways to fix gaps in your door jams after you get new flooring. For the actual frame that goes around each door, I use these oak plinths because they were less than $2 a piece and very easy to install. I just cut the door molding and baseboard with an oscillating tool, removed the old piece, and then I used brad nails to nail it in and caulked and painted. At first I thought it was gonna be too fancy, but then I was like, what's wrong with fancy? As a reminder, here's a before and here is the after. If you have a gap that's less than a quarter of an inch, you can use latex caulk. Just keep in mind that it shrinks as it dries and pull the tape before it dries. If you have bigger gaps like I did in my house, you can use this really cool stuff from Elmer's. It's really hard to find, but it's so much easier to work with than Bondo or wood filler. It has the consistency of Play-Doh, so you just wad it up and shove it in there and then try and get it as perfect as you can before it dries. It has a one hour working time, so you don't have to be in a rush. Because it dries rock solid, you wanna get it as perfect as you can before it dries so you won't be sanding your life away. I used an 80 grit sanding sponge just to smooth it all out. Then I slapped some paint on there and it's as good as new. Let me know if you have any questions and be sure to hit that follow button for more DIY hacks and tutorials.